you going guys, Movies for Nerds here, and um, I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd um, give an update of all the movies that I've got recently, and um, this is just going to be a quick video because it's like 2 in the morning where I am, so sorry if it's short and quick, but it's, it'll still be about 6 minutes because there's a bit here. Um, first one is here, I'll just go through my... Um, just my normal Blu-rays at the moment before I get into my steelbooks because I got more steelbooks today. Um, the first one I got is um, G.I. Joe Retaliation. Uh, it hasn't been open yet. I haven't seen this one. I have seen the first one and um, I've heard that this one is actually really bad and uh, it has The Rock in it and Channing Tatum so I thought it was going to be alright but Apparently people are saying that it's bad, so I'll have to check that one out. I haven't watched it yet, so. Um, the next one I got is um, 007 Skyfall. And um, I watched this recently, and I actually think this is one of the sickest James Bond movie I've probably ever seen. I have seen the original ones, and I've seen the TV series and that, and this is by far one of the best. And... Definitely be looking at the um at the other ones, the Solemn Quantum, whatever it's called. You guys know what it is, but yeah, I'll be definitely be checking those out. I've only just started getting into 007, so yeah, it's a good one too. Um, the next one I got here is Taken Two. I did go and see this at the cinemas when it was in the cinemas. Um, I haven't seen it since. I did like it. Number one is a lot better, but um. Yeah, I thought it was an alright one. I think that they should stop making them now because it's, you know, reached its limit. It was kind of pushing it in this movie, I thought. But, yeah, it's taken two. The next one I told you was going to be coming and it came and I'm so glad I got it. I was going to get the the tin, um, the drum, but I didn't bother because I just want it in my collection. I don't want to put it on display. And, um the Breaking Bad, the complete series, and um, what can you say about this show, you know, you've all seen it, and if you haven't, definitely check it out, it is by far one of the best TV series you can possibly imagine, so um, definitely check that out with Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. Um, the next one, this was a blind buy, I just bought it on eBay, just going through, it was really cheap, and um, had to had to pick this one up because I've been a fan since uh, since back in the day when I used to watch them with my dad and it's Austin Powers, the complete collection with Mike Myers, and um yeah it's you've got um Austin Powers there played by Mike Myers you've got on the back Doctor Evil also played by Mike Myers, and um it contains on the back here um, International Man of Mystery is by Shag Me and In Goal Member. So, um, yeah, I was definitely happy to pick that one up and for a cheap price, too. Alright, the next one I got, all these movies here I got are uh, steelbooks. So, and I've got quite a few here. So, I'll start with um, the first one. This one came in the mail and I was so I was This was one of the ones that I was so excited to get. It came after Christmas and the packaging that they put it in was absolute rubbish. It was just a bit of cardboard. They didn't put any protection or anything on it and now I'm asking people on eBay if they do put protection just so I have backup and um, the people have been no help and if um if you guys don't know who they are I'll put a I'll put a this is them here and um, I'll put a link in the description don't buy from them they're called um, import Australia no um, CD import Australia or something but um, definitely don't buy from them. They're rubbish. Um, they will not help you. This is what they did to my steelbook, basically, because they didn't want to... As soon, as soon as it leaves their hands, they don't give a shit. They don't reply to your comments or a piece of shit. The whole thing is in cave. So the second I open this steelbook, it's just going to fall apart. So I've kept it in its wrapping and trying to get a refund. Well, not a refund, but an exchange. I even showed them photo evidence, and they didn't give a shit. They just wanted to me to send it back and me pay for it to send it back which costs a fortune and not only that they um yeah they weren't going to give me my money back what if it got lost in the mail I um, don't have a Rex steel book either I have a fucking um you know I've lost 20 bucks or no actually 30 um 
Anyway, I'm rambling on there. Um, the next one I got is, I'm happy to get this, the Conjuring Steelbook. It's a sick steelbook. I have opened it already and there's no scratches on it, thank God. And um, yeah, it was a nice, it's a nice steelbook. It has the Annabelle doll on the back. And um, yeah, I love this movie. It was great. Um, the next one I got, I have this already on Blu-ray, but I had to pick it up in a steel book. I only got it for 15 bucks, so I thought I'd get it at JB. Um, and that's The Hobbit. Um, and this is The Unexpected Journey, obviously, because the other one's not out yet. Um, this is a great movie. I really loved it. I obviously am a big fan of The Lord of the Rings. But um, I have seen The Desolation of Smog, and um, I think that that movie is really... They kicked it up a notch, and... Yeah, definitely improved in number two. So I'll definitely be picking up that one in Steelbook if it comes out. Next one, I just bought it because it was like 12 bucks and thought it'd be all right to my um, collection. But I do own it on DVD and normal Blu-ray. And I'm not going to go into this because it's not that amazing. And that's the Green Lantern Steelbook. The next one is, I just showed you a thing of it, so I'm not going to go into it, but yeah, I had to pick it up on Steelbook as well. It's called Skyfall on Steelbook. Um, the next one I got is, I haven't seen this, so if any of you guys have seen it, definitely, you know, tell me what it is, what it's like in the comments, and that is Plain Dead. I think it was called, um, uh, Plain of the Living, um, uh, what's it called? It was called zombies on a plane or plane of the living dead or i don't know what it was called but they've changed the name definitely so that's plane dead tell me what it's like it's basically i've seen the trailer it's they go out on a they go up onto a plane and um yeah zombies are on the plane and they can't get off because they're in the sky so definitely tell me what you think of that the next one i got is um sucker punch and yeah this is a it's a very different movie it has vanessa hudgens and um uh, Sucker Punch, Emily Browning, um, Ambie Cornish, yeah, and um, Jenna Malone, and obviously Vanessa Hudgens. But yeah, it's um, basically a girl. They're slapped. It's um, they're slaves in like a sex. Uh, I think it's a sex place. I'm not sure, but every time she dances, she goes into another world, and it's her imagination. But in the end, it's, she's actually getting parts to escape. Yeah. Definitely check it out. It is an interesting movie. Sucker Punch. Um, the next one I got here is these are the ones that I've gotten recently and this is all over the net. So if you want to check it out in depth and you're thinking of buying it, definitely go look it up on um, YouTube. There'll be another eBay, um, another YouTuber that will definitely um, show you more in depth of it and that's the Ghostbusters. I reckon this is the sickest steel book. It's in a slip, so as I said, I want to be quick. I don't want to be pulling them out, showing you. So I'm sorry, guys, but yeah, it's the Ghostbusters steel book, and yeah, it's it's definitely a sick steel book. Uh, the next one I got here is um, Dark Shadows with Johnny Depp steel book. Um, picked this up for a really good price, and yeah, it's I love this movie. I love Tim Burton, so yeah, that's Dark Shadows steel book. Um, the next one I got is, I don't think this is by Tim Burton, but it's from the creators of The Nightmare Before Christmas, and that is Tim Burton, and I watched this, and it's a very weird, but very cool movie, I definitely love it, and definitely had to pick it up on Steelbook, and that's Coraline, and um, yeah, it's a great Steelbook, I really do love it, and um, oh, we've got nine minutes, guys, so we'll finish them off here. The next one I got here is, um, I'll do this one first. Um, Taken 2, I just showed you this, I got it on Blu-ray already as well, but had to pick it up on Steelbook, I paid $20 for Skyfall, Steelbook and this one together, so that's like $10 each Steelbook, so I had to get them and they're almost out of print, you can see that they're running out down here, I don't know what it's like in your, you know, if you're watching in another country, but they're running out here, so... Yeah, so I'm taking two. And the next one I won on eBay just recently. I won it for $15. I got it within two days, so that was awesome shipping. And um, really wanted it. I own it on DVD. I don't own it on Blu-ray, but now I do, and it's in a steelbook. Can't be happier, and that is 8 Mile. And, um, yeah, it's a sick steelbook. At the, at, on the back picture, it's like NM doing the peace sign as he's walking off at the end of the movie. And inside is, like, pictures of his rap battle and stuff, and... 
yeah, it's a really, it's a really sick steel book, and it's Eminem back in his prime when he was really, really good. So, and um, one last thing I got to show you guys, and you know, all of you have probably seen it on the internet, and you know, people are definitely picking it up. Um, the Flick Picks picked it up, Chris Duckman's picked it up, heaps of other people picked it up, and I'm one to pick it up as well. I'll just take it off its stand here. And I hadn't seen the movie in cinemas, and I don't know why, because I'm a big fan, and I have all the original ones on DVD, and I want to get them on Blu-ray as well. And, um, watched it. I'm a big fan of Russell Crowe, so I was glad to see him in it, and, um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, and I can't wait for, uh, actually, I'll show you first before I go into the next part. And that's, yeah, the Superman, it's nice, like, it's, it's like a tin case, it's more like a cookie case, really, that's how I think of it, but... Yeah, it comes with a with a display stand here, and it sits on your shelf real nice. It has ma three little magnets on the back here that kind of cling to it, so you know it doesn't fall. And inside, I'll quickly give you an in depth. We're going in eleven minutes. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, basically, it's just like got this little. You know, you got Superman there. There's the three D. There's the um, Blu-ray right there. So you got the three D up here, the Blu-ray. Then you got a picture of Superman as you open that up as well, guys. Um, then you've got Oh, what's his name? Fucking uh, no, whatever his name. Oh, fucking, I don't know. It's it's early in the morning. I'm I'm getting a bit tired. I don't know why I'm doing it. Um, yeah, DVD, and then you got the special feature. So four discs in here, and I only paid thirty bucks for all this. So you know, I can spend twenty five for the for the normal one, or I can go all out and get something that's gonna look nice on my shelf. So. Yeah, and I can't wait, as I was saying, I can't wait for Batman and um, Batman vs. Superman. But I've just found out it's been postponed to 2016, so it's two whole years that we have to wait for it. Which is, yeah, it was a sad day when I found that out. But, you know, nonetheless, as long as they do it well and when it does get released, it's, you know, it's good quality, then I guess all of, our, all of us fanboys will be happy. But, um, anyway guys, um, if you can, please hit the subscribe button, it's right here, um, if you don't want to press that, press it down here, there'll be a little subscribe button there, leave your comments, and, um, yeah, check for more updates, I'll be doing more videos soon, guys, and I'm sorry I've been slacking, it's just been, you know, a bit of a crazy time, start of the year, trying to get our lives together again, and, um, yeah, anyway guys, um, it's been sick talking to you, showing you what I got, I might not do, I do little updates here and there from now on, but, there will be things I'll leave out, and then at the end of each year, I'll do a big update and show you everything everything I've got, and I'll just do one big, my collection from there on, hoping to get a lot of steelbooks this year, and um, yeah, I definitely want to pick out this Peter Pan one, I'll put that right there, Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, and um, another one I want to get is Dumbo, and they've got another one, oh, Alice in Wonderland steelbook, but um, yeah, they're bringing out a lot of steel books, so and they're almost out of print. I think they are out of print, so hopefully people are still selling them once they have some money. Anyway, guys, um, been babbling on for 30 minutes and 30 seconds now, and um, I'll let you guys go. So yeah, um, see you.